I believe NBA 2K25 is going to go down as one of those forgotten years. And that's mainly because I've noticed that already with patch 3.0, 2K has patched NBA 2K25's identity. The things that allow us to readily identify NBA 2K25 and separate it from the rest of the 2Ks have already been patched. All right, yeah. So if you find yourself asking the question, like, is it that bad? <laughs> the answer is yes. It is that bad. NBA 2K25 has officially been patched. Hey, who know where this theme song come from? That little theme song you hear in the background. I like that. I can tell all city been watching the Wild Files. Y'all remember the Wild Files that we used to react to? And they used to be talking about different things around the world. That's that sound in the background, that little theme song. To death. The NBA 2K community is pissed. That's why I know it from. Get into all the details. If any of you guys are new here, drop a like, drop a sub, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get to the video. Oh Lord! So here we are after yet another patch. Let me ask you guys some. Do Facts. you feel like every time 2K touches the game, it gets worse and worse? Sound off. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I'm beginning to believe that 2K's marketing team is so good. Quick side note, NBA 2K's number one line item expense <laughs> is marketing. Well, I'm beginning to believe that their marketing team is so good that the devs can't even keep up with what the team is marketing. As you guys know, the devs recently released patch 3.0 and it was supposed to make some major adjustments to gameplay. I dropped a video on it yesterday discussing all the gameplay changes and showing you guys the patch notes. From the feedback that I received from you guys, the 2K community, it seems like a lot of things are getting lost in translation. 2K makes an adjustment to gameplay only to break something else. And that something else is going to need adjusting down the line. 2K devs are speaking Chinese while the 2K community is speaking English. Over the last few years, I've been making the argument that gameplay seems like it's just a copy and paste with layers on top. Mike Wang and the 2K dev team think that they're innovating gameplay, coming out with some pretty wild ideas, attempting to introduce them to the 2K community. And here we are, we received the gameplay and we're forced to adapt. And the 2K community Community, we make the adjustment because we love basketball and 2k is the only basketball sports gaming option boy i tell you 2k you better not let anybody come up behind the scenes because if they do they finna take your spot and trust and believe i'm not saying that's an easy task i know it'll be difficult right it's definitely not gonna be easy 2k spot but if another developer has the balls to go up against 2k and develop even something slightly remotely like 2k you're done. Neither here nor there, but reeling it back a little bit to go back to what I just mentioned, how gameplay is pretty much copy and pasted. The devs end up very quickly going into hiatus, neglecting the current iteration of 2K under the guise of working on the next iteration of 2K. So for instance, the devs are gone right now. You check their social right. media. It's absolutely crickets out there. No we haven't seen the devs in a long time, but how many times have we, we said this? And see, the only people that can make a difference is the content creators. But see, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. And this is this, how powerful this system is. The system of money. The system of greed. See, because so many of us are trying to get this money, the people that can make a difference don't want to make the difference because it would affect their bottom line. And we know how businesses feel about the bottom line. Oh, you can fuck with all the money you want to, but if we fuck with 2K bottom line, it's an issue, right? If we fuck with the content creator bottom line, it's an issue. But see, the content creator not gonna get on here and promote what needs to be promoted to get a better basketball game because Guess what? 2K does not control the market. They control the content creators. By having it to where the content creator can make money from creating content off of 2K. 2K does not copyright our content. You have license to create as much content as you want on 2K and get paid for it. You following? You got Twitch, TikTok. You see all these platforms that can make money off of 2K? Now imagine how much money 
we're making off of 2K. Now imagine how much 2K is making off of us promoting their game. And see, the content creator not going to separate himself from his money. I'm making thousands of dollars off of 2K. You think I'm going to sit here and just go all the way in? No, because I will be affecting my bottom line. So the content creators are the one that can make a difference. But these major content curators is very close to being on payroll or don't want to mess up relationships. Let's say, for an example, Anonymous is a mega superstar. I probably have sponsored deals all around the world. Do you think, okay, let me use an example that you can get. Do you understand what's going on with Nike and Jalen Brown? Perfect example. Perfect example. Nike and Jalen Brown is a perfect example of the relationship between the content creators and 2K. 2K has a hold in situations that, hey, you can talk this shit, but these other sponsors can say to themselves too, you know what? This is a mega star. You see how he going out and speaking versus 2K? So a lot of these content creators feel like if I go and step on 2K toes, I'm a mega star. I could be stepping on toes of my other avenues of money. So it's never smart, right, for the content creator to go at 2K, but they the only ones that can stop this cycle of bad gameplay. The content creators are the ones that ship it to the massive. Not 2K. You go look at 2K page on YouTube and see how many views they get versus how many views your popular 2K streamer get. Are you understand what I'm saying? 2K doesn't sell their game. They use the creators to sell their game and they pay the creators money by allowing them to... Oh my goodness. They allow the creators to play their game and make millions of dollars off it. On the back end, 2K is going to make billions of dollars because we are selling the drugs to the audience. So when we can get the, if everybody wants to get on the same page, you can get a good basketball game. But you're not going to get a good basketball game because some niggas don't want to go hungry for a couple of days. This is why you have a hard time with strikes because somebody is always, man, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Now, you talking about how long we're going to? We're going to share the wealth, baby. Let's get a good basketball game. Let's get on the same page. Well, you know, if I do that, I might be fucking up with my deals and shit. So it, it's really tough. But the content creators are the only ones that can change what's going on. But you will have to relinquish, relinquish the hold that content creators are getting. Somebody else will have to supply them with some money because they not finna sit here and say, well, I'm making... I'm making a hundred, I'm making six figures off this game. I'm making six figures. You think I'm finna come over there and, and what you paying me to, to, to go this route? It's about money now. The morals of life has left the building. There's no more morals and honor among men and women. There's a, a dollar sign attached to all this shit. If the dollar sign is not right, they not finna get on here no matter how bad the game is. And go the correct route. And the correct route is let's get a better game. Well, I don't know about that, man. You you talking about fucking with my money? I mean, I can make a couple videos, but that's about it. I'm what do rappers do? Rappers make thousands. What do what do these game bangers? What do these thugs rappers do? They make thousands of songs talking about sex, money, murder. And then they come out and make one song a year about doing the right thing. Do you see? Do you see that? That's what that's what these content creators do. They might make a video or two about how bad the game is, but they're gonna make a thousand videos about the new bill, my best jump shot, this bill right here. Man, I just opened these packs. Oh my god! Do you get it? Do you get it? They do the same thing the rappers do.
something from social media and they shift their focus to NBA 2K26 while dropping patches along the way for the current version NBA 2K25 they're peeling back the layers off of a foundation that was basically NBA 2K24 for me this is all a working theory and none of what I'm saying is absolute facts but if you guys get that same sense definitely share your thoughts in the comments i want to hear from y'all one of the first things that i want to review after patch 3.0 are those stuns that ball handlers will receive to prevent the offense from getting the ball right back after the defense plucks the ball loose i referenced yesterday's gameplay patch notes as it says added slightly longer stuns to ball handlers after successful steals to give the defense a better chance to recover the loose ball now right off rip i know the 2k community is like yeah that's a good idea because there were too many possession changes in a matter of five seconds the possession can change like two or three times and it ended up looking like a goofy mess out there on the floor so 2k they decide to patch it and i'm sure the 2k community is going to welcome this type of patch but what the 2k community doesn't realize and i don't believe they're responsible for noticing this type of stuff is the trickle down effect from making an adjustment to gameplay like that let me show you guys some because nba 2k lab they dropped a video of the type of stun animations that ball handlers are now going to receive unable to get the rock back after the ball gets plucked loose the new 3.0 patch for nba 2k25 will now stun the ball handlers for slightly longer after they lose the ball to help reward defenders that successfully went in for a steal is this change a w or l is that change a w or l i foresee the next major complaint and next yeah. major outcry coming from ball handlers did you guys see that animation it was a clear as day bump steal the defender's hands didn't pluck the ball loose the ball handler ends up going into this long-winded recovery animation while the defense gets the rock and in my opinion that little clip right there shows the extent of how much effort 2k is trying to actually invest in making the game better in my opinion is little to none it's 2k's responsibility to foresee that ball handlers are not going to have a complaint when defenders are able to get these illogical steals i don't even think bump steals should be a thing in nba 2k games if your hand as a defender is reaching four feet away from the ball how is it the ball handler loses the rock? It just seems illogical. And I believe 2K eludes logic far too often, but it's a video game, right? That's the argument. So why are we trying so hard to go towards realism? The fact is it'll never happen. I think 2K needs to embrace the idea that it is a video game. We are gonna elude logic. So let's embrace that and make the game fun. So how did we end up at patch 3.0? I wanna load up this clip from grinding as he explains it perfectly. About a month back, 2K dropped an extremely game-changing patch that basically nerfed passing lane steals so hard that they went from overpowered to frustratingly bad, literally to the point where the player can throw the ball at your face and even if you time it perfectly correct, sometimes you just won't get the lane steal. And they also buff shooting so much that it's no longer impressive to green your shots. You're literally watching me right now on a 60 to 70 overall, casually greening nearly every three I take with no hot zones, no boost, and less than a 70 overall three point rating. And honestly, the buff was so massive that we saw a massive spike in people switching from high risk, high reward to normal risk, normal reward, which of course allows people to make whites even in rank. Can I, can I go a step deeper? Can I go a step deeper, y'all? Type one if I can go deeper one time. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be long. But I, it's, it's to point out to what my G just said. Business lie. Can I, can I go deep one time? Type one. I know y'all going to allow me to. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. In, in the country today, Donald Trump said that he would do mass deportation. Type two, if you believe that's going to happen. Type three, if you believe that won't happen. Type two, if you believe that will happen. Type three, if you believe that won't happen. And I'm going to explain something to you. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something right here. <laughs> Type two, if you believe that will happen. Type three, if you believe that won't happen. Donald Trump said he's going to do mass deportation. That's one of his talking points. Right? Hey, my boy said we definitely out here testing the game. All right. Okay, y'all type two that y'all believe that will happen. Okay. There will be no mass deportation. It's business. 
there will not be a mass deportation. But it's an amazing selling point. You see, this is what goes on with business. You need something to sell to the audience. Now, see, I personally voted for Donald Trump. Me personally. You know, I, most of y'all already know that by now. Um, I love his policies better than I liked it. Her selling points. I love his selling points versus me liking her selling. But there will not be a mass deportation. Do you know why? America thrive off of cheap labor. We can't get around it. We won't get around it. Corporations. They don't want to pay the American citizen. American citizens are not trying to work for cheap labor. There will be criminals. There will be criminals that get deported. But when you're talking about workers, America won't allow it. But you don't have to believe me. You will see. America will not allow their cheap labor to be deported without a fight. Criminals? Criminals? Yes, we can see a large criminals that's a NI jails that are here causing crimes. Working immigrants will have a fight. The, the, the corporations that are hiring these. Who is complaining about a job? Immigrants or American citizens? Think about this, what I'm saying. Who is complaining about not having a job? Immigrants or American citizens? Who? American citizens. Why is American citizens complaining about not having a job? Because they don't want to work for the cheap labor. There's many jobs out here for $13, $11, $15, $18, $20, but the American citizens are saying there's no job. There are jobs. There's not the job with the amount of wage that the American citizen want to work for because the American citizen says that, hey, my bills are too expensive for this income, which they are right. The American citizen bills is definitely higher than a, no disrespect, an immigrant. When we know immigrants getting housing, immigrants getting assistance, so what I'm saying, the corporations that are hiring the immigrants by the thousands will fight to keep their employees because they know you, the American citizen, will not work. So bring it back to 2K. It's all selling points. Okay, all right. I mean, okay, I just wanted to tap on that a little bit game modes like Pro-Am. Incredibly frustrating change in my opinion, but even though I was a major advocate of leaving the shooting how it was on day one, the change that honestly bothered me the most was the passing lane nerf. My lockdowns out there, I feel for y'all. I know y'all hated the last patch because not only did they buff shooting, in turn buffing offense, they also nerfed your defensive capabilities to counteract that offense. Now, you could argue that defense was way too overpowered in the beginning and offense was pretty What's underwhelming good, man? everybody's just coming just in wide open after making a good move to beat your defender but regardless i don't think hand holding the offensive players so much that now they can green everything and they won't get punished as often for making terrible passes was the answer there isn't a day where i hop on 2k and i don't complain at least once about a steal that i should have gotten please in the um I, I i could tap on it some more but i don't i don't i'm not trying to turn this stream into that because I just wanted to make the connection with, with the business and selling. Everybody is selling. 2K is going to sell. I, I, I'm not, my bad. I apologize for using, the, using that example because I know when we start politics, I know y'all might want to go politics. I'm just showing you a connection of selling points. Yes, I will. Okay, I wanna, so I didn't want to really touch on it. I just wanted to show you a connection. 2K is selling things. They, are gonna, they have selling points. When 2K put out a new game, they have to have things that will sell us. We fixed the defense this year. Do y'all remember 2K24? 
They sold us on a new defensive system. We bought into it because every year, 2K going to have something bad in the pre the next year we're looking for it to be sold on them fixing that issue. That's what I'm saying. There's an issue in the United States. And Donald Trump sold the issue, which is why he won the American vote. And she did not because she was selling immigrants and Donald Trump was selling American citizens. I wonder if I'm making sense. Donald Trump spoke to the American citizen and she was speaking to foreign countries. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. Everybody has a sale and whoever has the correct sale can get the, 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 the purchase made. So when it comes to 2K, I was, I'm trying to stick to 2K. I just wanted to paint, show you an example of selling. 2K is selling everything that is wrong the following year. So everything that is broken in the year, the current year, 2K will turn that back around and sell it to us as they fix it. That's where we get our patches from. That's where we get all the game playing better now. Do you see people on Twitter are saying now after the patch, the game is better? Type two if you if you've been seeing that. Type two if you've seen a tweet where after this patch, man, the game is a lot smoother. I'm not the only one that's seen it. So that's what's going on. 2K has sale points. They have topics that they can break purposely and then put in little sale points throughout the year to make you think that you're getting something. We just found out that 2K did not actually give a shooting upgrade, but they told the community that they upgraded shooting. How many people are missing even worse? 2K just put out a notion that they boosted shooting. Then 2K lab come back and say, no, they lying. No, they didn't. They didn't boost shooting. But we didn't need the 2K lab to tell us that they didn't boost shooting because we play the game. We play the game and we can see that. Bro, I just shot five shots. Oh, brick. I ain't no boost in here at all. So that's what I mean by selling. People sell lies and because America have been brainwashed for so long, this is why they allow people to pretend to be crazy. Like thinking that, did I say that? Okay, let's move forward comments y'all let me know if i'm crazy and you think passing lane steals are perfectly fine where they're at now anyways now you're all cut up that's the changes that we had leading into this patch so there you have it folks now y'all all caught up simply grinding explaining how we got to patch 3.0 and he mentioned hand holding which is a key point of reference because nba 2k developer the czar released a tweet basically saying if you want more realism that equals less control meaning that you guys got to relinquish control for Okay, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Type one, if you voted for this, type two, if you did not vote for this. Who in here have raised their hand and said, type one, if you voted for more realism? When did we start that? When did we start a campaign saying we want the game to be more realistic? When did this happen? I don't remember this. I don't remember getting a, 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 a spreadsheet. I don't remember getting an email asking me. I don't remember a, 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 a popular viral tweet that said the game need to be more realistic. I remember hearing that. I don't remember this. When did we start this? See, this is, these are lies. These are lies for 2K to go the route to make the game dumb down for the audience that have money to spend. 2K is selling to the audience that have money to spend. They're not selling to the audience of basketball. So they are trying to lie. Okay. 
Do you know how celebrities go viral? See, man, this shit is so crazy because we can see everything about how the system works if we just paying attention. We're watching a game try to manipulate us in our face and act like we created an idea that we never had a conversation about. The, the 2K community never had a conversation about, I would want you to take over my game. Raise your hand if you ever said that you were like 2K to. This is lies. Nobody ever voted for RNG into a basketball game. Nobody. Nobody has ever voted that 2K, you can take over my game as I'm playing. Nobody. But they are saying this and push this narrative out, and now have they minions. See, let me explain. They have the minions to get on board and say, y'all voted for this. Who voted to have 2K make their shot miss? Because they were shooting too much. Nobody. But this is how this shit works. They get, they get a narrative so that they can sell to who they trying to sell to. And they'll have us believing that we voted for this. And you'll be saying that, damn, did I vote for this? Did I vote for this? He said, real mean all them animations in good gameplay. No, we're not voting for that. We don't care about your animations. Bro, you would not. But okay, let me say this slow. I would never vote. Pro play animations over being in control of my player. I would never vote for RNG pro play over being in control of my own player. I would never vote for that. None of you would. Nobody voted for that. Nobody asked for that. Nobody asked for 2K to give us pro play. Nobody asked for that. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. This is a strategy for the less fortunate. They, this is a tactic, bro. They pushing this to say that somebody said they want this. Nobody asked for that. Nobody said they would rather have the game take control of their players. Nobody asked for that. But see, you have the creators that are making the money get behind a movement that 2K is pushing. Oh, my God, bro. I know my OGs in here know what I'm saying. I know y'all know what I'm saying. It happened, it happened in real life. How do we get movements? We have fake groups to create movements and real people get behind these movements. So yes, there are some creators that are falsely pushing a movement that they don't even really understand, but they think, I mean, well, I'm a part of the 2K community and y'all voted for that. No, we didn't. But they got one person that said, now two people said, now three people said. Nobody asked for this. Nobody asked to jump up and down. Who, who in their right mind would ask to play hands up defense and the game forces you to jump? Nobody asked for that. But 2K would sell that and say, y'all, this is what the cause of, if you wanted realism gameplay, well, if realism gameplay is going to be me doing something that I'm not in control of, I don't want it. The old, and that's why we love the old 2Ks, because we was always in control. Thank you. How many times do you play hands up defense and the game make you reach? The game make you, made you jump before they pass it. That's what I'm trying to say, though. That's what I'm saying. 
We have to let the whole animation play out for the ball handling and defense. Don't have to wait on anything. Defense can move and make a medium mistake. Offense can't make any mistakes. Are we sl uh, slow? Bro, so that's what I'm saying, y'all. 2K is running narratives in the guys that are creating 2K content don't always know what type of movement they're, they're pushing. But because they are involved in creating 2K content, they end up pushing a movement that was not for them. I know my older guys know of some movements that they joined and found out that the movement was not the movement. I can give you one, Barack Obama. Would you still have voted for Barack Obama after seeing what his eight years have done? You probably would not have voted for him if you knew that he was for a community other than you. He was for some other. See, you see what I'm saying? So sometimes we get behind movements thinking that there is something, but then on the surface, they on the surface they look like this, but behind closed doors is a whole nother thing. That's what 2K do. They create narratives, and then 2K creators pick up the narrative and push them to the audience, and then the audience now is fighting with me or fighting with you and saying, hey, you voted for this, and you telling him I didn't vote for this. And, but the, but he don't know this because his creator pushed the movement. Bro, it's made so much sense. Tell you what if I'm making sense to you. Tell you what if I'm making sense to you. It's really, this is what happened every year. For the sake of realism, you hit an animation, let it play out, and it looks very similar to your favorite player. But you're not the one doing that animation. That's 2K. You're not the one scoring that bucket. That's 2K. And in my opinion, considering the recent trajectory of gameplay and how it's developed, it looks like this is only the beginning. 2K out here hand-holding every single category Yo, from hand The audience is fighting each other and fighting the 2K creator based off of a narrative that 2K pushed with their people. It's so crazy. We are fighting each other because you believe I asked for this, and I'm telling you I didn't ask for this. So now me and you are at odds with each other. You're defending a company that is giving us poor gameplay because you believe that I ain't said that this is what I want. Holding ball handlers to hand holding finishing, hand holding shooting, <laughs> and now even hand holding defense. The hand holding has been so aggressive that it's forcing other players to go back. Thanks. To the previous version of 2k folks going back to nba 2k 24. i want to reference this post from black cobra he says all year i said this was the best basketball experience and most fun i've ever had since 2k 17. i never went back to a previous 2k while the current one was still out never as he showcases an image of him re-downloading nba 2k 24 going back to nba 2k 24. badge plug ends up responding under this post saying that bad huh with a laughing face emoji, Black Cobra responding saying, been trying to find ways to have fun. I found this the most interesting because there's still a debate going on as to why 2K took this route. And it's mostly blamed from the casual perspective saying that 2K is catering to casuals. But folks like Swante have been crying out that casuals aren't even feeling this game either. So if NBA 2K25 is not favored by highly competitive players, you guys know them sweats out there. They don't necessarily like the trajectory of gameplay development and now it's like casuals don't even like what's going on with nba 2k 25 either it begs the question what wow. the hell is 2k doing i guess only time will tell but i'll tell you one thing i'm not gonna be here holding that's crazy money. as we move on i know a lot of 2k players on nba 2k 25 really appreciated the lethal shooter glitch where you can get all three spots that last three weeks with very little effort that's crazy though not to get off subject but I just heard Andrew Honigree name somewhere recently. I can't remember where, but that's crazy that you that that story that he did that. I can believe it. As for the folks who try to beat Lethal Shooter, it's like a futile effort. You guys are not gonna win against Lethal Shooter more times than not. I think a lot of 2K players can agree. But I heard I heard my team, the older community of my team was pushed out for this new community of my team and 
this is now what they're trying to do with the park program rent and everywhere else they're pushing out the people that want to see basketball we are being replaced oh god damn everybody is trying to replace somebody the 2k is trying to replace the core community for the new market of their responsiveness make multiple bills and play my game all day and don't worry about being good like this is crazy Agree that that was hella convenient to get our three lethal spots so easy. Well, that lethal shooter glitch, it's officially been patched by 2K. I would like to reference this post from Wapix as he shares a video of him attempting to do the lethal shooter glitch and he finds out that that's been patched. He said they patched lethal shooter glitch. Don't waste three weeks on your new build like me. Heartbroken. That's just a fair warning for everybody. If you go in there, you're going to have to face off against lethal shooter. If you try to do the three weeks, it's not going to work out for you. On to the next and last post. As you guys know, with the patch 3.0 update, your records came back. So now I'm curious to know what your shooting percentages are and what's your win percentages. Your <laughs> records came back. Hey, my boy said the whales. To reset, but they did reset and now they're back with the latest update. I, I don't blame them last from marketing from Cash standpoint. Out. He says, yay, my record is back. It don't sucks. roast me, guys. Hashtag NBA 2K25. And as you guys see, he has played 12,489 games. As I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, but Cash Out right now is leading the way toward reaching the ultimate highest level on NBA 2K25. February responding to Cash Out saying, this is so unhealthy, bro. It's not even funny-ish. Not worth it in the long run, dog. And I got to tell you, I should share the exact sentiment is definitely not worth it i believe nba 2k25 is going to go down as one of those for I got years i could be wrong and i'll keep my fingers crossed doing my best to stay optimistic that things will get better for nba 2k25 but it's just not looking too good and that's mainly because i've noticed that already with patch 3.0 2k has patched nba 2k25's identity the things that allow us to readily identify nba 2k25 and separate it from the rest of the 2ks have already been patched what does that mean for the lifespan of nba 2k25 curious to hear your thoughts so share them in the comment section below if any of you guys are new here drop a like drop a sub i'll catch you guys on the next video shout out to all city man once again y'all make sure y'all check out the youtube video the link will be in the description or you can just go to his channel um all city live tv and check out the video show him some support man like i said you know my whole opinion on 2k25 is done my whole opinion on 2k going forward 2k26 i think the money i don't think we could get our basketball game i don't think basketball could come back due to the money I think they just making too much money and every year we hear they going up and up and up and up back see so i don't think we can have it back i don't think 2k know how to come back to us and do they care to come back to us because 2k know that we are replaceable As long as 2K has the creators in their back pocket, indirectly, right? They have the creators. The creators are the only ones that can fight against 2K. And because the creators are making money with 2K, I don't think that the creator would go against 2K in a way that we would need to, to stop this unslide a bad gameplay the creator would have to get in the mud and i don't think the creators have time or even care that much to get in the mud with 2k about how bad this game is the creators are the only ones that can make a difference okay i'm gonna have to look that up my boy said gaming well i'm gonna look that up he said, I've been playing 2K since 2K14. This might be the last 2K and I love basketball. But see, I personally, 
I love basketball too, man. And it's hard to not play a basketball game when this is the only one. But like my boy say, the creators got bills. The only people that can fight 2K is the mega stars. The Joe Knows, the Swantes, the Brutus Sims, the j Easy, the Shakedowns, the Cash Nasties, the Flight Reacts. See, if we have more Flight Reacts, we can get some done. But we don't have a lot of Flight Reacts. We have a lot of... <laughs> I ain't gonna say no name. But if we have more people that would stand up to 2K, y'all know what Flight did? Flight did something that a lot of content creators can't do. Flight React, if we have more Flight Reacts, we could get a better game. But too many people want the money. You know what I'm saying? Too many people want the, 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 the fame that come with it. So we need mega stars that will get in the mud. And they not going to get in the mud because it goes against their whole brand. You're telling me I'm going to destroy my whole brand to get a better basketball game? And get out of here. So like I said, the only people that can make a difference in 2K is the creators. The only people that can make a difference is the creators. No disrespect, my G. I got to clear that up. Uncle Tom was the good guy. Come on now. It's 2024. We can't be still calling Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom was the good guy. All right, but you, I know what you...